In a previous video I demonstrated how to use one of these which is a guide that I've used from a bolt by drilling a hole down the centre. I will put a link in the description to that video and also the video on how to make one of these guides. In this video we've got a bolt which is sheared in this hole and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shear off a tap in there and then we're going to try to remove the sheared tap. I'm not going to put the guide in which I've made and then I'm going to tighten up the nut at the back there. So I'm just going to drill that out with the correct tapping sized drill. I'm actually just going to swap over there to a cobalt drill bit. So I've now drilled a hole. I'm now going to break the tap off into the bolt. Obviously that's broke in a really bad place, it's not where I wanted it to break, so I'm just going to give it a helping hand. As you can see that has broken off and that is much better. We've now actually got that deep in the hole. Not only have we got a broken bolt in there, we've now got a broken tap in there as well. Taps are made out of a similar steel to a screw extractor. Just a word of warning about screw extractors, taps etc. They are made from a very tough steel, but it is very brittle. It's absolutely critical that you wear safety glasses if you're attempting to deal with something like that that may break. The shards that actually come off that when it breaks are actually like splinters of glass and they will quite easily embed themselves into your skin or your eyes. So it's absolutely critical to wear safety glasses. So at the bottom there, you can see there's a tiny piece of the tap and that is going to stop me from getting the guide in properly so I'm going to try to break that off. And that has actually cracked off and we can get that out. Normally in situations like this you either get a broken screw extractor or a broken tap. Both of these are very hard steels and they are incredibly tough to drill out. You can't actually drill these with a normal drill bit. You have absolutely no chance. You could possibly use a carbide drill bit like that, but these are very, very brittle. You have to be very careful with carbide. They will drill tough steels, but if you break one of those, it is very difficult to get it out. Probably one of the only ways to get that out is to have it spark eroded afterwards. You could use these to drill it out. These are made by R2 and these are multi-purpose drill bits. These will drill virtually anything. But as you can see, a few of these are seriously battered. Especially the size which I'm going to need, which is about 5 or 6 mil. You can see that that is absolutely no use whatsoever now. So I can actually use them. So that's one of the drill bits that we're going to be using, which is a JCB Dimatech hole saw. They are impregnated with diamonds on the end. That is one that I've used previously to drill 60 holes in a granite tile. And I also use that to drill a tap. A few days ago, I actually put that in the vise. That is a broken tap. And I actually managed to drill through that using this hole saw and this kind of steel is incredibly tough it is very very difficult to drill it you can actually drill that using a normal drill bit or a cobalt drill bit you have absolutely no chance so i'm going to take the drill guide that i've made and i've actually made a shorter version of that so i'm now going to tighten the drill guide in there to drill out the broken tap i'm going to use that one which is a 6.5 millimeter diamond hole saw that is a perfect fit in there and eventually we should be able to drill out that broken tap. So I'm now going to dip this in some water 
I will keep dipping that in the water every five seconds. So this is going to be a very long process, but it is one of the few ways where you can actually drill out a tap. And I've just actually removed the bolt so that so we can actually see and you can see that in there it is actually cutting the tap away. I have to point out that this is a very slow process and if you can do it's much easier getting it spore corroded but for a lot of people that is not an option. Obviously this job is very time consuming and I've been drilling that for about 30 minutes now and we're approximately halfway through. So I can't stress how important it is when you're doing something like this to go and take a break. You do not want to let a job like this get on top of you. It's important to go and have a cup of tea, go and have something to eat, etc. Never let a job like this wind you up or else you'll just end up getting mad with it, trying to rush it and end up breaking something. Jobs like this can't be rushed. You really do have to take your time with them. On that note, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. We've now got far enough in that we no longer need the guide bolt, so I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to continue to drill. I'm actually just going to change the drill bit over now. That one has definitely had a lot of wear on the end there. But I'm sure that that will still go through a porcelain tile or a granite tile. However, I'm going to swap over to a brand new hole saw and we're going to see if that will continue cutting. And we've actually just got the tap stuck in the end of there now. So we've actually cut a core straight down the centre of the tap. I do have to say that that did take a while. And I was probably drilling that for a good hour or so. But we've now got the broken piece of the tap. And we've got a hole down the remainder of the tap, which is approximately so long. So now we have a chance of getting the broken tap out and the bolt that is still stuck in there. So that's the piece which is approximately one inch long. And if you now look in the hole you can actually see that we've successfully drilled out the broken tap. We now just need to drill out the remainder of the bolt. So drilling that out should be very easy. I'm just going to use this screwdriver and I'm just going to use that to get the depth of the hole. And then I'm going to transfer that onto a drill bit because we don't want to drill too deep. 
So I'm now going to take some cutting paste and then we're just going to drill out the remainder of the bolt that's in that hole. Now we've done that, I'm just going to clean the hole out. You can then take an M12 tap. Then apply some cutting paste onto that. And then we'll proceed to re-tap the hole. I'll then just give the tap a clean. And just clean out the hole. And then we'll just proceed to tap the hole again. It's important that you don't try and rush any of this. The last thing you want to do now is break off the tap. You have to be aware that there is some steel left in the threads in there and we're actually just trying to break out those bits of steel and re-tap the aluminium. So you do have to do this very carefully and very slowly. If you take a look on there, you can actually see some of the bits of the broken bolt. So that's why it's important to keep stopping to clean out the hole. Obviously, if you've got a compressed air supply, it's a really good idea just to give that a blowout and get any of the debris from within the hole. Well that hole is now clear. I can then take an M12 bolt. I can screw that in there, absolutely no problem at all. It's actually just got a bit tight. Just wind it in the rest of the way using the spanner.
you can see that will hold absolutely no problem at all. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.